So, hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you another video looking ahead towards FIFA 19 and towards games in the future. Now usually when I do this I talk about career mode, but today we're going to be looking at a fresh game mode, a slightly different one, and that is going to be the journey. It's come under a little bit of criticism over the time it's been part of the FIFA franchise for being a little bit limited in what you can do and some of the stuff that is just available on the game mode generally speaking. So today I'm going to be bringing you a total of eight things that I would love to see in the journey for FIFA 19. Obviously this has already been confirmed as the last version of the journey in its current state. What that means going forward into FIFA 20 and beyond is yet to be seen. If you go on to enjoy the video though, slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel. We're going to jump straight now into the list of things that I want to see and first of all it's the obvious one, realistically. It has to be customization and a bit more of it. And I'm not talking about just the hairstyles of Alex Hunter and the tattoos and what shirts he wears. I'm talking about being able to create your actual own character and person that will guide you through this journey. You know, I would love to, to be honest with you, carry out the journey game mode as myself. And I know 90% of FIFA fans would say the same. They want to be able to do the journey with all the cutscenes and all the storylines behind it, but play as themselves. What would be even better is if EA could bring back some technology they used to have in the game, which for some reason they've taken out, which was the ability to do game or face scans of, you know, of a picture that you would put on the game and then it would scan it and then you'd actually get your face on a player in the virtual world like you had on pro clubs. You could actually see yourself carrying out all these storylines and, and enjoying the story as yourself rather than Alex Hunter. And I think that's part of the reason why the game mode has become a quite stale, generally speaking, is because it is the same story pretty much for everybody and it's the same character living that story out. Okay, fine, he might have different facial hair in your save in comparison to mine and a slightly different haircut, but... The, the general premise is the same, the character is the same, and I get it sort of needs to be for the voice acting, but you could still have the same voice for each person, just, you just have the face customizable and the player name customizable as well, rather than it being Alex Hunter all of the time. And going along with that, coupling on I guess in point number two is the ability to customize the other characters in the game mode as well. I feel like it would be even, obviously it would be great, and this is, a, this is another step beyond, but it would be great to obviously have your own self within the game mode, but then having your own actual mates, your own version of Gareth Walker in the save would be really, really cool. Your own parents to represent you when it comes to that st that part of the storyline, sorry. It would be really, really cool to be able to just put game or face scan, sorry, in for them as well, change their names, and be able to have a fully different save to somebody else. That's what it's all about. Not, you know, I don't want to watch a YouTube series of someone doing the journey and then that's it. I don't have to play it ever again. That's not the point of a game mode. That That's just very lazy and simple for EA to do. What it needs to be to be successful is to be different to anybody else's, to be unique to anyone else's game save. And those two things would definitely, definitely provide that. International games and tournaments is something that, to be honest with you, I'm quite baffled and shocked as to how that hasn't ended up becoming part of the game. Like, I mean, they, they did a bit of a, a teaser and hint towards it at the end of the first journey. So if I'm going to be honest with you, right, I haven't played much of the journey on, the, on FIFA 18, but I've never seen anyone talk about the fact that you can actually play as, you know, Alex Hunter in the England team, for example. So I, I don't know why that hasn't really necessarily been implemented. I think that would be a very strong storyline, and they've gone with, down the route of being able to play in the Champions League, as my voice goes, but they haven't actually been able to, you know, implement the World Cup or just the Euros or anything into the journey either. So that would be that would be good looking forward if there if there is a another version of the journey in future to be able to actually play, you know, for England or whatever nationality you could choose if it was customizable. That would be solid as well. Now a slightly smaller one, but one that I think would be quite cool is being able to actually interact with the social media board because you get it on the main menu of the journey, you know, before you're seeing cutscenes or playing a game, for example and your mum is tweeting you and your agent's tweeting you and Gareth Walker's tweeting you and that's all well and good but you can't even reply or act upon any of them. You know, there's the whole personality trait thing that goes along with the journey in terms of the way you react to other people within the storyline and the media. What would be cool is if you could then react to people on social media and then that 
would change your presence or your personality traits in the game mode as well, so that could have a bit of an influence on how the storyline goes for you, rather than it just being an aesthetic thing. Earnings that could be spent on things, actual things, would be nice. And I know this is done on a smaller level, because you can like purchase shoes, or once you've got a certain amount of earnings you can buy shoes, or you can unlock shirts and hoodies and stuff, but A, it doesn't really make sense, because it's not like, I mean, I remember seeing one, like one pair of shoes, that you could unlock once you got to 1.8 million pounds of earnings. And I'm not being funny, yeah. They were bra they were just plain brown shoes. They weren't even Adidas or Nike or anything. They were just... I mean, I, I don't know where he's shopping for brown shoes to be worth 1.8 million pounds. It just doesn't make sense to me. If instead you were actually spending the wages that you get on actual boots or shoes or whatever or you know your actual shirts and all that sort of stuff that would be great that you could actually spend and say right I'm spending this actual amount of money on this pair of shoes and different pairs of boots and different clothes and different other aesthetic elements would unlock as the season as the series progresses so there's like oh I don't know there's a new release of really awesome boots that enhance how I perform okay have I got enough have I been earning enough in terms of wages and bonuses okay I'll go out and buy those because the wages fluctuate and are different when you actually start up the game and you choose what team you're going to use. But it doesn't really make any sort of difference, to be honest with you, in terms of how the game works apart from the shoes that you wear in cutscenes. So more sponsor deals as well to go along with that would be cool. I know there's a couple of like storyline scripted parts where you have a sponsorship with Coca-Cola and I think another one with either Adidas or Nike on the first version of the journey. But being able to get them on a more regular basis would not only be a bit more realistic, I feel, but again, would go towards being able to afford, I don't know, different cars or different boots again or different bits of equipment and stuff or going on a holiday, whatever that sort of, you know, being able to actually spend that money on actual things that change the way the actual game save works would be great. And having different sponsors would be a good way of doing that. There's plenty of companies that are associated with EA and there's plenty of companies that are represented on the game in the form of news elements or in shirt sponsors or stadium sponsors even if they weren't real whatever even if they weren't actually real companies whatever the situation as long as you could then spend it on being able to br bring in boots or whatever you wanted to I think it would add a bit more of an element to the off the pitch stuff now this might be a bit of a controversial one because it's very 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 unlikely to happen but some kind of free mode to go along with the journey would actually make it potentially the greatest game mode of, of all time on any game, especially if you were then able to customize them. Imagine GTA settings, well obviously without the crime because it's a Peggy 3 game, but GTA settings in terms of being able to go out and just be, you know, go on free roam and stuff along with the actual journey and the storylines that go along with it. Surely eventually that game slash game mode has got to be made, but you cannot disagree that that would make the game so much more interesting. I'm not proposing to you that EA will actually 100% do this, in fact I'm extremely confident they won't at any point, but going forward in the future how awesome would that be as a feature? And the final thing really, point number eight, is some sort of youth academy or reserve football. Now I realise this would have gone a lot better with the first version of the journey but if they are going to sort of reincarnate this game mode with a different character or with customizable characters then I think being able to actually play in a reserves team in the B team in the youth academy to actually hone your skills for a little bit before just being flung onto the general stage would be quite a cool little advancement because I feel like a lot of this story is based upon someone like Marcus Rashford okay who jumped onto the scene played mid Land, scored then played Arsenal scored again and since then his career has taken off but it wasn't like they they literally just signed him for, uh, as like a 16 year old out of nowhere and then just put him in the first team like he played youth academy games and reserve fixtures as well before going into that and I feel like that would be a cool way to increase the storyline as well and again make it a little bit more realistic because I guess it would just be a lot more realistic anyway that pretty much is going to bring to an end I feel the ideas for this one that's eight things that the journey needs in order to be a lot better in my opinion whether any of them happen on FIFA 19 or whether any of them happen in general we 
we will have to wait and see. But let me know down in the comments section what other things you think should be added to the journey, either for FIFA 19 or just sort of fantasy things that you would love to see in the game mode way, way in the future. If you enjoyed this one though, slap a like on the video and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel. Growth has been really, really sick recently actually, but it really helps me out if you press that big red button under the video. And you can also follow me on social media. My Twitter handle is at the official FNG and my Instagram is exactly the same. Links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. I roll out with some monsters. Looks like your team and you watches. I do no roll with imposters. Try by the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's. I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch is fucking me so hard. I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie. Especially if it is crushless. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop us.